Hey, good morning. It's me, Greg. It's the Daily Greg. It's like 5.30 in the morning, and we're going to have a yard sale. My wife has already yelled at me this morning. She's up in bed. She doesn't yeah. like yard sales. The dogs are barking. They've already pissed on the floor. I'm having a yard sale today. And come join me. So it's me, Greg, and uh, we're getting ready for the big yard sale. Still very early. The sun's just starting to come up now. And here are some of the things that I'm getting rid of. Getting rid of the Obama Day Inauguration newspaper, special edition, $5 each. Why? Because this is my own personal flippin' economic stimulus package. His package ain't doing uh, anything for me. We're going to sell five of his newspapers. I've got like 20 of them upstairs. Got my mug of coffee in hand. Got the yard sale items out in place. Now it's just time for a little bit of yard sale customers. This is going to probably be the story of my life. Every time I have a yard sale, <clears throat> except when I lived in uh, the neighborhood that was uh, kind of ghetto-like, people never come. So we'll see what happens today at Gregory's yard sale. Looks kind of meager, actually, when you start looking at it from afar. I've got to create yard sale excitement. Maybe I'll break out the DJ equipment. Play the little MC Hammer. I don't see people coming. I don't see people coming. It's 7.10. I don't see people coming. All I hear are birds chirping. Nobody's coming to my yard sale. I had one early bird, and they were looking to buy jewelry. And I know why, because it was cash for gold. They wanted cash for friggin' gold. They think I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. Let me tell you, I'll seal that sucker up in a bag and mail it to get my $10 for cash for gold when it's really worth 110 Nobody's come yet. Except for one person, the early bird. That's what we're going to call him now, the early bird. It's 7.30. I have not sold a dollar. It is the story of my life. Although there is rustling in the neighborhood. I've heard a couple of motorcycles rev up. A couple of cars go by. But I want to see people. I want to see people that are in the mood to spend money. One of the things uh, that I also notice about yard sales is um, do you really think that the people who are having the yard sale have really gotten up and taken a shower yet, brushed their teeth? I can tell you I haven't. I stink. I've got my coffee in hand, so I've got teacher breath. All I need is a couple of cigarettes, and that would be just wonderful. Just like a math teacher that you can recall from high school who would say, Greg, you got an ah on your last exam. You've had those type of teachers, haven't you? I have a couple of friends who are teachers now. Just remember teachers. If you're a teacher, make sure you've got the mouthwash and the uh, and the freshen up gum because there's nothing like math teacher breath. This is exciting. Bird watching at your yard sale when nobody comes. Birds are coming to my yard sale. They're looking down. They're like, hey, look at that idiot. He's trying to have a yard sale. The only thing that would make my day more is if these birds came and shit on my head. It might bring me some luck. I think we may have yard sailors. I think we may. Here they come, yard sale people. I've got a customer. They're driving a pretty sharp looking car too. Look at that. Oh, it's the slow and go. It's the slow and go. Don't do that to me now. Oh, for crying out loud. It's the slow and go. How dare they? Oh, now we have a van. We have excitement. We have yard sale excitement, people. Here he goes again. A little slow and go action. There you go. Buy from me, idiot. 
I just had another car that drove by, and, and you know, it's it's always interesting when people drive by too. You see them pierce their lips, they kind of go like that, and that basically says that your junk really sucks. So I must have sucky junk. It's not yard saleable stuff. I don't get it. You know, it's really sad when the Obama economy uh, even affects yard sales. I mean, yard sales are supposed to be bargains. But when the Obama, econ the Obama economy <laughs> affects yard sales, it's like, what the hell's going on in America? Here comes my bride. We've had a couple of slow and goes on. It's very exciting. I, I, I blame this on Obama as well. What are you looking at now? Huh? What else do you want to buy or steal away from my yard sale? I'm selling underwear that doesn't fit me. Okay, if you lose some weight, they'll fit you. Huh? We can't use any of those things on there? No, no, we're getting rid of them. And nobody's going to buy them anyway, hon. Nobody comes to my yard sales. I don't know why you do this. This is the last time I will ever do this. I figured, you, you said know. said this last time. Uh, I was like... You said that last time. I know, but I always... I, there's hope. You know, Obama was about hope. He spoke over here just last year. He said, hope. Things will get better. Things aren't getting better. It won't get better, hon. It's just, it's a disaster. Potential customer and shady guy on the bike. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. Come on, my lady. You buy. No slow and go. No slow and go. Stop. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. First customer of the day. Very exciting. Hi. Welcome to my yard sale. It's very exciting. <laughs> How are you this morning? Doing good. How are you? Hi, Tim. Great. We got some boots. Yeah. Boots for children. We have a big boy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's almost. He's six years old, but he's using a bigger size. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, exciting is when you have the naked puppet and you've got the cheerleader. Yeah. Like, come on, my lady. Oh, suck face, suck face. <laughs> Look, man, they're having fun. It's like a date. Hey, baby. Greg. You know what I'm talking about. Greg, please. Look, it's exciting. Come on. I tried to sell the chapstick. They have been on my lips. Ten bucks. People want to have a little taste of Greggy. Unfortunately, the lady that was just here, she said, no, Jeannie doesn't want a taste of me either. We've been together for so long, it doesn't matter anymore. Come on, kiss my coffee breath. Come on. How much money do you all have on you? I mean, how much? Oh, I don't know. Because I'm ready to make some deals here, big deals. Very exciting, huh? Mucho excited Tito. <laughs> You're from Espanol, right? Yeah. Me duele la cabeza. I say mal tiempo, I say frío. Right? Me gusta jugar al football americano. Americano. Yeah. <laughs> I speak the, the international language. Very exciting. Okay, Ryan, come over here. They're buying this for a dollar. Okay? Say one dollar, please. Right, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Gracias. Enjoy. Yes. Vamos a